Hey yo, what's poppin' y'all? This your boy Snow back again with another video for Corpse Can't Laugh. And um, basically, this is a SOCOM video. I'm just gonna go on it real quick. And starting at the top, let me say, you know, shout out to Zipper, shout out to uh, Slant Six. Um, you know, it's it's been it's been real. And um, you know, hopefully that if there is a SOCOM Five or you know that you guys can collaborate or even if there's a confrontation too you know I hope you guys have seen the, the little feedback the little community videos you know about this game and you know I hope Slant 6 has been keeping all the notes on confrontation and um, you know I, I just hope that you guys keep all that in concern and keep your innovative ideas and find that perfect combination to give us back the hardcore fans uh, you know you know the game that we've come to love is I guess now there's no more hardcore shooters so I guess you could say cult classics cult fans or whatever and um, you know I don't want to I don't want to be a bitch about the game I don't want to be anything there there were some things both in confrontation and in SOCOM 4 that I really appreciate you guys doing and 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 working out and the theories you know you gotta take a chance um, but the one thing that um, you know I just wasn't too uh, cool about maybe the biggest thing was the switch over in controls and the loss of our tradition of game modes and um, you know I don't I don't mind you you know, I thought when we was playing the beta that you're trying to show us four new game modes and then they were going to be in addition to what we do already. You know, and, and to bring in the new fans and, you know, get them comfortable with that and get us comfortable to the new system, the old fans comfortable with the new way we're going to play and give us new mo new modes because, you know, we anyone that's a fan of any series can appreciate new modes being added in. And for the most part, I think they were cool, you know, um, but then you got the fans who've been here forever and who were you know jumping up and down at your e3 announcements and everything that you know we wanted demo we wanted breach um the hostages was you know people play hostages you know people play escort you know and um and and and, and that's just some of the things that we missed now yeah someone's gonna probably say that well you know snow they did bring you know demolition out but yeah we had to pay for it Unless you bought the copy new about months away after the game had been dropped to forty dollars. Now if you're like me, you bought the super package which was the SOCOM pre ordered with the gun and the PlayStation Move. So I paid like a hundred and fifty and now you're telling me I had to pay more money for the demolition, which is something that should have been standard. If anything, demolition should have been turned on, and and when it, when the announcement was made, demolition should have been turned on for all the original boards, and then for the new maps, we would have had to pay for that, you know. Uh, that would that to me that was fair with the same deal that you you gave for the new players, but except for you just give us demolition mode free, and then we would have to pay for that. Cause I understand you needed to get something to get more players into the game. Um. And from this gameplay, you see me playing right now, I am a veteran. And I, when I mean veteran, I mean I've been playing since the first one. And I'm one of the few, I'm one of those rare SOCOM fans that play both the single player and the campaign. In all iterations of this game where the campaign was visible, I do not go online until I finish the campaign. And that was the case with SOCOM 4 as well. You know, I do appreciate you guys putting a more emotional attachment into the story, you know, in, into the single player. And I could say, you know, forget about what the critics said and what the what the what the drones say. You know, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, there were some places where it could be improved, but that's the whole point of having a game and getting feedback for the next year. You can improve upon the story for the following year if there's a next one. But um, on a serious note. I think the trade, the trading for the first person shooter controls, you know, I think that was a bad move. Um, and, and I say this, a lot of my SOCOM friends from PlayStation 2 who didn't play shooters from the first person world, you know, 
they they were stuck on third person shooters and they only wanted to play games like this so a lot of them still was playing um confrontation until this came on and it's funny that this game actually made it comfortable for them to buy uh you know battlefield bad company battlefield 3 and all this stuff because after they played this I told them like this is the same controls of, of a first person shooter and now they were able to jump on the other side with no problem. If anything, you just push more fans out the door who's never played those games before. But that may be a small bunch and it may not be a lot, but you know, for this one dude that I know that I'm talking about, two dudes actually, it, it's a big fucking deal. Um, so we just need the perfect blend of what you guys are trying to do here. And classic SOCOM can't be labeled classic. It has to be the standard. And then the second option is respawn. Because when I think of SOCOM, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about elite shit, you know? Like in the realms of third person shooter style with the feel of Counter Strike or, you know, the Rainbow Six series where it's unforgiving. You know, the regenerating health and all that other stuff, like, you know, it's cool, it's a nice try. Maybe that's something that should stay in Respawn, but I think that this game needs to get back to its roots. You know, the lobbies, the in-game friends, you know, and, and, and back to the original controls. It was a nice test, you know, and, and, and when I was playing, I got used to it. It was a nice test. Like I said, I like the modes. There were some things I, I liked about the game, you know, I don't play it anymore. I can't I can't believe that I that I that I I don't play this game like I stopped playing it and confrontation you know I played confrontation way longer than I played this <laughs> and 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 people were beefing about confrontation I told people that confrontation was probably the last SOCOM game um, as far as the look and feel of what a someone who's been playing this for quite a while is used to and because um, I knew there was gonna be some changes that that needed to be made for the game and, and they were made and you s this is the result so um also I want to give a shout out to uh suck my turban and you know Luke and Baca and uh you know Luke as I call him I might have chomped his name so Luke and turban I want to give a shout out to them those guys are you know they're vets or whatever and they're the hardcore vets they, they're way more hardcore veteran than me you know again I was the person you know that played both and when I played online we went to respawn rooms just to warm up if we haven't played in a while and then we would leave and go into the regular rooms which was you know you only live once type shit and um you know I miss that you know I can't find like I've, I've contemplated loading up my ps2 I've kept my ps2 in case I wasn't gonna like confrontation or the next one that would come out after that and um you know, but the glitcher is all over that, so I don't play it either. And, um, you know, it's sad when you play a game like Binary Domain, and you're looking at Spec Ops The Line, and you're looking at, um, you know, Ghost Recon games. The Ghost Recon, you know, has always been the rival if you was a PlayStation head, and, you know, and you're talking to your Xbox friends, and we're talking about third-person shooters. Ghost Recon was the only thing being compared to. You know, and, you know, us PlayStation people, we unless you had both systems, we didn't play Ghost Recon. So, you know, conversations used to be endless about defending that. But um, we're just trying to, I want to restore the feeling. I like being in that cookie class where only cookies could be in it or, you know, the, the respawn rooms should have the rank rooms, you know, should have the rooms that you try to implement, which is like the other games where it's the lobbies. But I also think that, you know, part of what made SOCOM you know what it was where we were able to control our matches and set some settings on it that you know could make the game fair in case you know we had to wait in between patches for for the next fix or for the next whatever or we could have an official clan battle and whether it was you know stat worthy of SOCOM itself it was more of a pride thing between the, the players itself so it was the community within the community and um you know, I, I know people complain all over about this game. And, and this is, I don't want this to be a complaint video. This is really just like, you know, giving some props to where it's due. Appreciate what you guys were trying to do. But as a fan of both the single player and the can play, can player. And, and I, I just think that, you know, it's really needed to to make the perfect blend between this and what we know as SOCOM to be. And, you know, 
Pound, SOCOM Unite, again, shout out to Suck My Turban and, and Lukenbacher and everyone else that plays this game. And shout out to the people who still playing this game. I got nothing against y'all. You know, I, I, I need my arc back for throwing grenades, you know? I need, I don't want down the sight. I don't want to aim down the sight, <laughs> you know? But I just need some of that old feeling with some of this new stuff that you guys are trying to implement. And I think we'll be all right for the next SOCOM. Um, confrontation 2 was not that b I mean confrontation sorry it was not that bad but you know it, it lacked some things it just need those things just needed to be fixed and we needed a campaign because I was kind of pissed that I didn't have a campaign but you know I figured if a better one's gonna come after I'd be okay with that and you know a campaign came and it was a good campaign but you know I still felt a little short-sighted on the overall package especially when demolition wasn't added to the package so I don't know. Anyway, this is your boy Snow Nasty, representing Corpse Can't Laugh, and this was my gameplay rant or, you know, shout out. So anyway, holla at me, one.